into the corner where you have to hold tornadoes all the time, it's really easy for hindsight to just get free, uh, free ledge trap. Give me one second as we get... Yeah, the Incineroar Renaissance is uh, quite the thing here. I'm just going to get ready to call the next matches upstairs. I will be right back because Chavo is the other... Uh, he is uh, basically the head to of upstairs uh, while I do things down here. So let's go make sure the matches are progressing. Don't go anywhere. This is about to start uh, in game number one. We're back. Sorry about that. I just had to go keep the had to go get the matches progressing. So already things uh, we're looking at a all right, we're looking at a lead here from hindsight. I'm sure it's probably tornado up air or something along the lines of that. But Downstairs to ask me a question. So, back to an even game here. Try to go for Lola, try to get him back off stage. It was all nooch. Yeah, it's just all nooch. The game pause was uh, the game pause was because there was a, a question about one of the monitors. That's why. The Chavo's playing in the middle of the match and he is one of the TOs. So, sorry about that. That side piece, that that disc is so good as like, like not only a ledge trap tool, a uh, tech chase tool, but also a counterplay tool. Just get somebody to stop moving forward. That F tilt is just barely not gonna kill him. So I'm surprised he didn't. Tried to go for Darkest Lariat off stage to possibly catch him as he came back in. His Darkest Lariats are usually pretty good against most sword fighter recoveries. Did <laughs> you stop camping? <laughs> Probably. That could have been part of it. Drop down forward air. Yeah, see, this that's what's so good. You catch somebody with that one time. And that's a free grab setup. We tried to go for the reversal on the alone look, which he might have just killed. Good jump call, though, with that back air. And Chavo now getting himself back down to last hit. Or, excuse me, last stock. Nice job shielding your tornadoes. But you can see Hindsight just kind of respectfully trying to put some pressure out. But because he took one alone whip and went back to even. That aggressive up B is so good off stage. And sometimes even in center stage here, it kind of catches people off guard. The best move, the F tilt. Yes. <laughs> Cheeto fingers. Uh, can't get upper right there because he DI'd out. Uh, so that was really good on Chavo to avoid that. And also not getting up directly. But he does get caught underneath the ledge. I don't know if he's going to make this back. Yeah, he got sent at a pretty uh, weird angle away from, uh, from that down smash. Which is scary, right? Because whenever you're in that situation right there, you don't necessarily want to get up right away. Because if you neutral get up, you get hit by the... You get end up... You end up getting hit by the disc because it catches two frames really easy. If you roll on, that's kind of reactable for hindsight because he's standing right there. And if you jump, you know, that, like, 
if you get caught by the disc, you get hit anyways. So that's a really good ledge trap. It's very hard to get around. It is a, yeah, that was a disgusting angle. Be honest, I'm surprised the down smash just, just didn't kill outright. So we're running it back to PS2. Gets the off air, keeps the pressure on, tries to catch an air dodge down, which I like the attempt, but of course I've been missed. And these side Bs are really good at kind of just stopping Chavo from just running in. Yeah, it is very, very minimal lag. Darkest Larry's gonna box him out. Dark, like, Incinera has one of the best spot dodge cancel options in the game with Darkest Larry. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, a little bit out of position once again to go for the up, uh, for the up air. Also, Chavo doing a good job of not jumping too early. Because if you do, you just get caught by one of those side Bs and you just gotta take that. Oh, the frame shot's coming in. Like, it was a little bit out of range to get the guaranteed down throw off air, but it does force air dodges because you're pretty scared of that at that point. Back air's not going to do it. Yeah, he's forced the cross drop high. He gets hit by the last bit of up B, but it actually kind of worked out because it pushed him so far away. Unfortunately for hindsight, but he does get the forward smash to center stage. So that's still not too bad. Yeah, the setups have been pretty solid for both of them, honestly. They've been doing pretty good. Uh, you know, very cons it's very hard to know what me Sword Fighter's up to, and hindsight does an excellent job of changing it up a bunch. Go for the... I actually kind of like that, because, like, you, if they air dodge down, you go for the back air, right? But if they jump in, you go for the up B. So you catch multiple defensive options with that right there. And especially against a character like Ensign, who doesn't have a whole lot to get out of that, outside of maybe an aggro cross shot. Chavo is good. Oh, yeah, actually, he up just gets shielded that time. Up throw should do it, and that puts him back to even. Fourth throw off, back off stage. Now he's forced to take the ledge trap. Hindsight decided to look for a roll right there instead. I, I mean, you can definitely understand why. But he gets a down throw up there. It doesn't kill off the top. I'm very surprised about that. And he's not in position to punish the revenge. So Chavo gets to keep the stock just a little longer. And also avoids any punishes there, too, after the, uh, the whistle alone. But, oh, he got right up in front of it. Yeah, that's so hard to deal with. Especially after the last stock, right? That last stock in the last game, you got hit by the same thing, so you try to avoid getting down smashed at the ledge again, and then you neutral get up, and that's why I was saying it's so scary at ledge, because it just covers neutral get up for free. Here we go, though. Gets right in front of the tornado. I mean, he hasn't really taken too much damage here on this last stock. And he gets him with the... Oh, that move has so much more range on the recovery than it seems. The Chavo, unfortunately, doesn't get the Dark Slayer yet. Yep. Yeah, Chakram stays out forever. But most people don't deal with that because you don't see too many, uh, you know, too many me sword fighters. It's not very common. Now they're up there. Get, gonna get damaged. Tries to call him, maybe air dodging down and away. You see Chavo's trying to space out these foreigners. Get in. He finally finds it. Finds the startup of the tornado. Shields that one. Hindsight's gonna make it back. He's gonna get the call. No, he doesn't get the jump call. And he on the opposite side, but he does avoid getting thrown. Oh, he catches him after start up with the up -y. So even though Chavo's thinking 77%, this, I mean, this is kind of scary because you're around down throw off error percents from me Sword Fighter, but Incineroar also has the ability to really rack up damage fast if he gets back in. So this is still doable for Chavo. It just depends on how slow Hindsight wants to play. He's going for these falling up airs. Down to poke. That's a very solid revenge, actually, because that's like 16% base damage uh, off of that up air alone. So that, like, one alone whip might be enough just to get him at least a kill percent. That's if he can get back in, though. He, oh, he took too much damage, and he gets hit by the tornado off the ledge, and that is going to do it. Tornado up air is going to close it out. Hits below ledge. Very strong move. Very difficult move to deal with, for sure. And that is going to be it. Chavo's going to take it. Uh, Chavo's going to go down 2-0 to hindsight.